We're going to look at the uh, textile markers in more detail and get you to do a little bit of work with them. Um, as we said before, they're all water-based. We've got two types. We've got the finer one here, which are ideal for obviously starting off, doing your outlines, that sort of thing. Um, I prefer to work, but don't listen to me. I mean, I'm only saying I prefer to work with these all the time. Um, I find the tips are very versatile. You get quite a fine point. That's picked up a little bit of colour from where I've been working with it, probably. But it doesn't <coughs> matter. It soon wears off and you just carry on um, using it and it will not affect the colour you lay down on the fabric. Um, I've just started trying to extricate my dolphin. I've been having a few problems with it this afternoon. But it, it is virtually me working uh, with the grey, which is here. I tend to like that one when I'm doing outlines, as I do in my colour pens. I've got a grey in the colour pens, you'll notice where it's me. I like my greys. And you can just start working on the side of it, like that. Just easing round, keeping it light, and then as you vary the pressure, so you can vary the depth of colour. So I'll start working a bit more on this now. Oh, are you the last group, you think, or...? I've no idea how it runs, yeah, but yeah. are we? Yeah. Oh, so I can have a good time now, that's all I mean. Okay, right. So we start working. We start getting some depth into it now. And you can even blend with your finger while it's wet and move the colour around, limited time. Um, and then I can start working darker to get a bit more depth into it. There we go. Didn't happen on Blue Peter, things falling out of boxes and things, did it? Anyway, so I'm now going to get a bit darker, obviously bringing the black into play. I'll show you this in a sec, don't worry. Should have an overhead camera really, shouldn't we? So quickly while John's doing that, I've um, talked about obviously... You're not, all, you're not wired up, so I have to stand really close to you. <laughs> we, showed you we showed you the things this morning, so you've got the, the pens available in that set. You have the, the sort of five basic colours in there with the little mini t-shirt okay there's also uh, a, a kids version of these which is the, the packaging based design more for kids textile fun and the barrels of the products themselves are just a little bit more kiddified but they they work in exactly the same way so just to kind of reiterate what we were talking about this morning so once you've um, put your design on whatever it is you're doing if you're not happy with it you can wash it and it will come out and you can start again but once you are happy with it, you basically fix it into place with an iron, and it's important it's on no steam, so basically, and then it is washable up to a 60 degree cycle. But as we've said earlier on, if people are using them for different things, so maybe if somebody's doing something on textile for, for wall art or something where it's never going to be washed, then you don't have to so iron it really. So, We're gonna so, that's, um, so you can see that it's beginning now to come out of the mess. I had to use somebody else's tote bag. So I'm, we were running out of tote bags, so I'm just working on top of existing lines. I'm just beginning now to get the shape, and I'm going to start bringing in colour. Um, don't know whether it's a blue nosed dolphin or a bottle nosed dolphin. It's going to be blue when I've finished. Oh, it's a dolphin? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to make sure I was clear. Yeah. In disguise, obviously. Yeah. Thanks, Simon. <laughs> That's all right, because trust me, it looks a little bit like a dolphin if it was I'm me. working upside down, don't forget. I'm yeah, doing yeah, the Australian yeah. way, you know. I can't do Rolf Harris because he's banged up, but I normally do some Rolf Harris jokes, so I can't do him. So, sorry about that. Good job you didn't say, can you tell what it is yet? Is it I didn't, I bird? didn't. <laughs> but no, I can't draw, so I shouldn't really take the mic, should I? Well, it's difficult working upside down, as they say. There we are, so he's beginning to come on. Uh, what we've got for you, two choices. You can either work freehand um, and do things like, I've been doing a roadkill there. It was at Spotify, but I ran over it to keep it still. So we're just working on lighter colours. Always start light, so start with your yellows, either in the fine one or not. Or you can outline in black, obviously, if you want. I tend to outline in black, then start with the light colours, the light yellows, and then gradually work darker, going to orange and so on and red and stick with a sort of a scheme like that or go through the grey so start black and then go through the grey there go, um, a bit more black maybe some of the darker blues until you get a nice colour range coming out that way those that aren't feeling too daring we've got stencils like I said this morning you can have anything you like as long as it's an owl and you can place them you don't have to do, do them in a row 
place one there, do it, and then maybe place another one up here. Do whatever you like. And we will come around and help you. We're going to give out some of the stuff now. So let me know. Indicate whether you want a stencil or not. What we, oh, there they are. And you want a stuffer, forgive the expression, for, the, uh, for your tote bag. So we've got those bits of card for you. So we'll come around now. Get you Tell started. You are you having an owl or are you... You can really sketch with them, can't you? Lovely, lovely work.